Okay, so from Dollarama, I got the pets myself some stuff. And sorry about the lighting right now. It's rainy out, so it's kind of dim lighting. But I got three rolls of duct tape, which um, is always useful to have. And these are just really thin rolls. And this one's cheetah print. This one's tie-dye, which is my favorite. And this one's zebra. And those were a dollar each. Then I got... Um, some Q-tips, and these ones, I don't know if you can tell very well, but, yeah. They're, uh, all pointed. Well, some of them are pointed, some of them aren't. And those pointed ones are useful for a medical kit, um, for cleaning out things or doing, like, eye swap things. Uh, lots of times if you're gonna, like, flush out or get something out of the eye, it's useful to use a Q-tip. And then I got this little first aid kit, and this was $1.25. And I'll just show you what's in it. So it comes with a little roll of gauze tape, some gauze, some of these antiseptic um, alcohol pads. It comes with two different types of sizes of band-aids, and it comes with two of those gauze pads. But I mainly just got it for the gauze, I don't think I'll be using the band-aids. As I don't think, I think that would be kind of painful for one taking it off, but. Yeah, I got that, and that's always useful to have in a first aid kit. I've kind of been um, collecting lots of stuff to make a little um, small animal first aid kit. Then I got another one of these little maize and hamsters by Webkins, and this one is the hamster dressed up as a bunny rabbit, and this is one of the cutest ones as well. The last one that I got is really cute too, but these are two of my favorite, and they were $2.50. Then I just got some stuff for back to school, so I got some mechanical pencils, which were a dollar. I got a pack of pens, blue ink pens, and they were $1.25, which is a good deal because these are pretty good quality. And I got a pack of three highlighters because I needed some small ones. And I forgot to mention that I got two packs of stickers. I know I have a little bit of a sticker problem, but I got this type, which just has sparkly letters and cuteness. It's just really cute. And I got this one, which just has little animals. That carrot is so cute. And a hedgehog, of course, which I'm going to be using for Hercules. And I like that little horse, too. Yeah, and these are just kind of like an off-brand of the other type of puff stickers. They're kind of copying them in a way, but they're the same price, and these ones are cute. So from a local pet store, I got a few things. So the first three things that I got were these three little mini toothbrushes, and these are by the wellness brand and they're just vegetable based dog chews but I use them for dumpling my hamster and those were 33 cents each I believe um, so they came to a dollar then I found a really awesome deal on these oxbow hays uh, it was actually one of these is usually $5.99 there, but with their little special card, you could get it for $5.69, and it was a buy one, get one free offer. So really, I got two of these uh, small 15-ounce bags for $5.69, which is amazing. So I got some orchard grass. Um, I had been meaning to get this, actually, since the um, Oxbow Western Timothy hay that I'm using for Felix, my skinny pig, is a little bit too harsh, so... I'm going to be using this with him since it's a lot softer and he won't get poked. And I also just got some botanical hay, as this is a huge favorite with my pets. And I'm not sure if you can read that right there. But those are the ingredients right over there. It has just like different little herbs and flowers and stuff in it. And it's a really big favorite with them. So from Canadian Tire, I actually picked up two more fleeces um, in my last collective haul. You guys saw that I picked up two fleeces from Canadian Tire. They were regularly $15 on sale for $5. Well, I really like the quality of them. I think they're really nice, and there were some cute patterns left. So they're just by this Martex brand, and this one is just black with white polka dots, which is adorable. And this one, which I just love so much, it's tie-dye. It's blue tie-dye, which is great. And all together it came to $10, so pretty good. And lastly, from a local grocery store, I got 
Um, they had kind of a thing where you can fill up your own little bags of stuff. So I got a little bag of flaxseed as this is supposed to help with um, like Syrian, long-haired Syrian's coats. Apparently it's supposed to make it a lot nicer. So I picked up some of them to add to Dumpling's food. And I also just picked up some pearl barley. And those two things together came to like 88 cents or something really, really cheap. And from a local store, um, it's just, yeah, I guess a local store, um, I got this adorable little thing, and you're never going to believe, it's a little guinea pig. Like, how adorable is this? It comes in this little carrier with a little head hole thing, and it was $12. That's not coming up, but it comes with some hay in there, too, or, like, straw, more <laughs> like... Um, but this is what the little guinea pig looks like. It reminds me of marble, except marble's not an Abyssinian. And has um, some brown on her. But, yes, I just love this so much. It's so, so cute. And they had all different, like, types. They had, like, brown ones. I think they were all Abyssinians, but they had one that looked like cow. It was, like, white here and white there. It was kind of like a Dutch, almost. Well, not really, but... Yeah, I just think they're so adorable, and that is definitely going up in my pet room as a cute little figurine. So I thought I'd show you guys the food that I feed my hedgehog Hercules, as I get quite a few questions about it. So, I just bought this bag a few days ago. It's called Chicken Soup for the Cat Lover's Soul Adult Cat Light Formula. The light just means it has less fat than the regular formula. And it contains chicken, salmon, turkey, duck, and vegetables. And this is a six-pound bag, so it lasts a long time. Now, the reason that I feed cat food is that most of the commercial hedgehog foods on the market aren't really suitable for hedgehogs or their dietary requirements. They don't meet the right requirements, like having the right amount of protein and fat. And lots of them don't have very good ingredients. Um, usually you want to aim for a food that has like meat as the first ingredient or some type of meal um, and most of them are like corn or soy or wheat based and it's just not really healthy so the guaranteed analysis I'm not sure if I think you'll be able to read it um, the crude po protein is 32 percent the fat is 9 percent which all meets the standards and the ingredients are right there. The first ingredient is chicken, which is great. And then it has chicken meal, cracked pearl barley, turkey meal, powdered cellulose, white rice, potatoes, oatmeal, millet, chicken fat, sam chicken flavor, salmon, turkey, duck, ocean fish meal, flax seed, and it goes down into other stuff. But um, the first couple ingredients are very good. And my hedgehog just loves this food so much. Um, I do recommend, though, feeding two types of foods to your hedgehog. I just kind of think it adds a little bit more variety for your hedgehog. Um, so I'm going to be picking up a different type of cat food with the same standards. Um, oh, and I should mention the price. This, I bought this at Pet Value, and it was $18.99, so $20, which is not kind of expensive, but not really for how long it lasts. And... From my local pet store, I can get it for $15.99. So if you're looking for this food, definitely check local pet stores before chain pet stores because you'll see a price difference. So that is the food that I feed my hedgehog, and he loves it a lot. And I forgot to show you what they look like. They're just little kibbles like this. They actually are different because I used to feed my hedgehog the cat lover um, one that is the regular version not the light version and it was kind of in star shapes but this one is just a little kibble hey guys so I have a haul today from a few various stores so I'll start off with Dollarama I just got a few things so the first two things that I got was a pack of 50 uh, zip ties they're just the white ones they were each a dollar and I also got one of these odor absorbers for my room and this was a dollar twenty five and the last thing I actually got from Dollarama were these assorted file folders. It comes with 12 of them, and they're all in, like, pretty colors. And I'm going to be making a hideout house with these for my hedgehog. I actually got this idea from Snowdrop Hedgie. Um, she showed this little hideout house she made, and I loved it so much. So I decided to make one for Hercules. 
So quickly from Global Pet Foods, I just picked up this cuddle bone. It's by Living World, and it was for 99 cents. And I got this for my pet snail, which I introduced in a rabbit caregiving video. So I'll leave a link down below to that video if you want to go and see my snail. Um, anyways, I'll go on to Bulk Barn. So the first thing that I got from Bulk Barn was this big bag of Boxo Comfort Bedding. It is 51 liters. And this is by far, I think, one of the best paper-based bedding. Um, I think it's way better than Carefresh. It's a lot less dustier and cheaper, too. And this was $9.59, so $10. Ugh, it's very, very heavy. It's very compressed. So... Now I'll go on to like the little hamster food stuff that I bought to mix in with my hamster's food. So, the first thing that I got was a little bag of quinoa, and this was 96 cents. Then I got some of these brown rice macaroni elbows, and these were 42 cents. Then I got a bit of a bigger bag of the outdoor songbird mix and this cost 46 cents and this has a whole bunch of different type of little seeds in there it has like rapeseed and millet and oat groats um if you go to bulk barn their website you can go and see the ingredients it's on there then the next little baggie that i got was of rye flakes and these were only 12 cents <laughs> so really really cheap and then, last but not least, uh, for the hamster, I got this mix of wild and brown rice, and this was 55 cents. And all the stuff that I bought, I believe, is listed on the website. I'll leave a link down below to Bulk Barn, except maybe not the rye flakes. So, quickly, I'm just going to show you what I got for myself. So, the candy that I got this time, as I always get a candy, um, I got some of these little grape slices, and these things are so, so good. They're like sour grape. I don't know. And these were 99 cents, which is kind of expensive for a little bag, but they're really good. Then, actually, this is actually for, not for the hamster, but for the pets. <laughs> um, I got some of this Grace Virgin Coconut Oil. And this is actually to clean grease glands and also to help, like, moisturize my skinny pig Felix. Um, I was watching Skinny Pigs 1, her videos, and she uses this. So I decided to pick some up as I thought this would be useful. And he has a little bit of flaky skin on his back, so I think that'll help it. Also, I needed it to clean grease glands too, so yeah. Um, and then for myself, I just got this caramel dip. And you pretty much can just like dip the, you heat it up and then you dip your apple in it and then it will harden and it sounds really good. So I got that. And last but not least, as a little snack for myself, I got some apple chips by Seneca. And these are just the Granny Smith type and these are like awesome. I love any type of like dried apple. So, so, so good. So that is basically my haul.